updates in a scandal that just keeps on going. Republican Congressman Matt Gates back at work in Congress, but the DOJ sex crime continues, the sex crime probe, which has new evidence that we've learned about. The feds are basically investigating what they call possible sex trafficking, possible sex with a 17-year-old, and possible prostitution. As we've always reported about this, and it's been quite the story, Mr. Gates, the congressman, denies all of it and has not been charged with anything. But today, the top Republican in the House, Leader McCarthy, revealing that he has talked to Gates, who maintained his innocence, while his indicted associate, the former tax collector, Joel Greenberg, well, he's spilling the tea and the pressure is growing. As mentioned, the feds have seized Gates's cell phone. We learned about that brand new this week, but they did it as far back as winter, according to reporting, also seizing the phone of an ex-girlfriend. Now, Gates has been leaning into a Trump playbook. He's now buying TV ads, and he's saying that while Fox News and others have abandoned him, well, the problem is the media, and he's spending six-figure ad buy to attack the media. I'm joined now by someone who knows these issues quite well, both geographically and legally. David Ehrenberg is the state attorney for Palm Beach County uh, and has been one of our experts on this wild, wild legal and political story of intrigue. Thanks for coming back, sir. Thanks for having me back, Ari. Anytime investigations involve high profile people, um, as you know, and I think viewers have heard about, uh, there is a standard where it is supposed to be fair and they're treated like anyone else. Um, but the extra precautions can be taken uh, at the DOJ. They have certain extra vetting uh, just to make sure that the people aren't being investigated, for example, because they're high profile or in power. Um, Matt Gates is clearly leaning into the idea in his defense and in his ad buys um, that somehow it's not fair, it's not on the level, and he thinks he can get something uh, out of spending on this. Your response to all of that? Ari, it is the Trump playbook. Object, deflect, and project. It's about the deep state, the swamp. But the problem is, is that this investigation started under Bill Barr, the same guy who gave breaks to Rudy Giuliani and Paul Manafort and Flynn, but not, apparently, to Matt Gates. Plus, it is part of the Trump playbook to turn the camera onto the media, to blame the media for it. Mm. But, you know, part of it is that Gates continues to make these statements in public that undermine his own defense. You know, he went on Tucker Carlson's show and made Carlson and his wife a witness by saying, you remember the girl we had dinner together. And he keeps making statements that seem to be contradictory and I think will be used against him if he's ever charged. Hmm. Uh, as for how it's hitting in Washington, I mean, this is something the Republican Party is trying to run from. Uh, Donald Trump has been tepid at best in public. Uh, here was Leader McCarthy uh, when asked about a lot of this. Take a look. When Paul Ryan was speaker, his staff had a, a conversation with Matt Gates about his professional conduct. Okay. Were you ever aware of any no. red flags, any concerns about his conduct when you were majority leader? Uh, when I was majority leader, I wasn't part of that discussion. I didn't know about that. Lots of times as um, speaker or leader, if you have discussions with members, I guess, for the privacy, they have that. I did not know about that till the um, art until I read it in the article. Dave? Yeah, all right. Here's the thing. If you take everything that Matt Gates says at face value and assume it's true that he's never had sex with an underage girl and that he has never paid for sex, even then he could still be charged with child sex trafficking because the statute is so broad that if he's just part of the venture with Joel Greenberg, he could be charged. If he picked her up at the airport, if he paid for a hotel room, if he in any way enticed a minor into having sex with Joel Greenberg, he could be charged. If he was involved with giving her drugs to entice her to have sex with Greenberg, he could be charged. And Greenberg has every incentive to give up the ghost when it comes to Matt Gates. It's his lifeline. He's facing up to life in prison. So why wouldn't he want to turn yep. on the bigger fish? Well, let me and let me press that back to you then, which is what do you say um, to the to the argument by some of Gates's allies that there's so much pressure to find, quote unquote, something on the, as you put it, the bigger fish um, that that Mr. Greenberg, who, who at best looks unsavory, isn't such a reliable witness, that it can't just be a, a fishing expedition to stay with our nautical Florida metaphor here um, for someone who happens to be in Congress. That is Gates's best defense, in my opinion. If it ever goes to trial, you know that instead of blaming the press, instead of blaming the deep state, he's going to blame Joel Greenberg. 
He's going to turn the tables and put him on trial. And he's got a big target. Joel Greenberg is a one-man criminal enterprise. He's like the Joker without the cool makeup. This guy's been involved in so many different crimes. He makes a good foil for Matt Gates, and a jury could believe him. After all, uh, Greenberg's was, Greenberg is currently being charged with trying to smear a political opponent by saying that person is a pedophile. Well, isn't that sort of what he's doing here to Matt Gates? That's what Gates is going to say. He's going to say this is Greenberg, uh, false accusation of pedophilia 2.0, and it may work with the jury. Was that the Joker, were you thinking Dark Knight or, or the older Jack Nicholson Joker? You know, I, I got to admit, Ari, I haven't seen a lot of the new ones. I know you're a Dark Knight fan. I, when I think of the Joker, I think of Jack Nicholson. And he was a classic Joker. I mean, there's more than one Joker since you brought it up. Um, and we, we keep an eye on the culture here, too, even amidst serious stories. Uh, the, uh, the Palm Beach County attorney, Dave Ehrenberg, always good to have you here, sir. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.